Easy Tigers, I hope everyone's fine and dandy, welcome back as always. Uh, first of all, I just want to big up the people that are sticking by me and thanks to the people that support me on Patreon and on PayPal. It's thanks to you guys we can help uncover this stuff together. So if you want to join the gang, the links are in the description and I'd be most appreciative. So what I've been doing for the last week and a half is trying to paint a picture for you by going around and showing you guys that in Malta there is a secret hidden layer and I call it the golden layer like I did in England I exposed this golden layer and it was amongst all the sandstone and it's all geopolymer and not everything disclaimer not every single thing the stuff I present on this channel before people run around and go oh he's calling everything just the stuff I'm presenting so I've now ended up in Malta where I'm exposing this golden layer again but it's, it's in the limestone so uh, in the history books, all this stuff that we're looking at right now come about in World War II. But I'm telling you guys, this is a heck of a lot older. And I'm going to be showing you evidence of this is man-made. And these are macro structures. And they have been made out of megalithic block work and triangles. And another thing about these places is they are being buried and hidden and blocked up as we speak. So I have spent a long, long time going around all these areas, exposing all this stuff. And you will be amazed by the stuff that I'm gonna show you in this video today. Obviously the military were here. Uh, they had a heavily, heavily uh, presence here in World War II. Even though there was only the war for two years, this place got bombed more than anything else. And, uh, when I went onto a tour in underground Valletta, we was told that all these, what do we call them, air raid shelters, shall we say, that's what they're called in a the narrative, these were all dug out pre-World War II, before the World War II happened. And that is very ironic, isn't it? And that's not me saying that. If you go on a tour, this is what you'll be taught. So these were all dug out three months before World War II. How ironic is that? In my opinion, that's just an excuse to stamp a date on it and say it all started from that date. But I am gonna be showing you that these are massive complexes and they are humongous, especially Valletta. Valletta is actually like built on a structure that is five to six stories high. But what do I know, hey? I've only spent two years here examining all this and now I'm back for more. So let's have a look. We're walking around a certain part now. We're in Floriana. And, and another thing I will say about this, all these patterns, these star fault patterns, these cymatic patterns, the most earliest part of this was done in geopolymer. And then the part on top of that was built out of the blocks made out of the geopolymer and then in modern parts. But what I will say is the earliest, earliest part of this, which is the bottom of these structures, is all the geopolymer. And that is the shape of the frequency patterns. So these are the guys that made these frequency patterns. And these frequency patterns are complexes. And you will see that. And this is what I'm showing you right now. So in these complexes, you have living quarters. You have services that serve buildings, pipes and cables. You have places to store water. You have places to trade. You even have roads, tunnels and transport systems all incorporated into these stone macro structures. And that's what I'm gonna be exposing. And that's why I'm here. And that's why you need to subscribe to this channel because I don't wanna blow my own trumpet, but no one is doing this sort of work. Go on YouTube and have a look. No one's doing this work. No one's connecting dots like this. So please make sure to subscribe and please share these videos because this is, this is, this is groundbreaking stuff. Now, I just wanna point out the fact that when I was making videos last week, we had a little walk around this part here and I showed you that these are apartments and that little square bit that I've got the arrow on is apartments. It's, it's literally a block like you find in America. Then I walked from this arrow to this arrow and I showed you all the apartments running along this one wall. So it's like, it's like these are humongous blocks you know, like, like an American blocks. And then let's take a little zoom out. Then I went to this place here that I showed you in the video yesterday. This is all geopolymer. This is a massive stone city. And Valletta has been built directly on top of this. And it's phenomenal. I don't know how people are not connecting these dots. Then, let's zoom out. 
and let's zoom in. We went to this part. This is one of the first videos we made here. So we went from this part to this part, and I've shown you that this geopolymer structure has been chopped down and built on top of and blocked up. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on this part today, this little bastion that they call it. And we are going to be seeing an exclusive apartment. And it's, by the way, this is symmetrical to the other side. These frequency patterns are symmetrical. So this is the other side that I'm pointing out now that we looked at last week. And this side over here, we showed, I showed you the building services here. But I'm also going to be showing you an exclusive apartment here. Bearing in mind, you've got pipes and cables running through this geopolymer sandstone. Sorry, limestone. You've got cables running through it. They use, they use all the waste system. By the way, these, these, these structures have waste systems incorporated into them. And when I mean that, it means when you flush a toilet from five stories up, that, that, that waste will connect to the ancient services or the old world services and get taken away somewhere else. It's phenomenal. So let's have a look. That's where we was last week. I showed you the apartments in there. Now I'm showing you this side. This side is going to knock your socks off. And like I said, it's symmetrical. It is symmetrical. I'll tell you a fun little fact. Last time I come here before today, I found a rabbit here. And we actually give it to a rabbit rescue and save his little life. Because <laughs> someone had dumped him and it was like 40 degrees and he was sitting in a box and he was like, wow, 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 wow. So here we go, this is the geopolymer. And let's just go inside this apartment. And again, what I want you to do is point out the sectional block work. Because this is done in like mad shapes. Like this has been built like incredible. So we're in. This one had like three or four rooms in this apartment. It was, it was amazing. And it's in pretty good condition. But like I showed you in the in the video of the letter yesterday, these would have been rendered, these have been smooth walls. They'd have been lovely. Look at that. Okay. Sorry about the breathing, it's it's quite it's, it's quite warm out. Look, there's a bit of render on the floor there. It's quite um the word it, it, it's quite uh, tiring like your legs like climbing up and down it's quite warm there as well so you're breathing quite heavy but can you see the sections where this cast directly on top of each other and what they do is they they, they normally render it so you don't see that sort of stuff but look, this one goes downstairs a little bit it's incredible eh? so this white stuff smeared all over the walls we don't know what that is it could just be paint but it's not the color of the limestone put it that way but you can see that the joints have been sealed either side of me at the minute. That's what they do. They seal the joints. Now you can see the limestone. This wall's got loads of limestone. Like you can see the limestone there. But there's tiles on the floor. Probably done World War II. Probably done in World War II. But what a humongous apartment this one is, eh? It did go on a little bit further. But I believe there was just rubbish in that. And I didn't, because I've been in here before, I've been in this one before, so I know. But it's crazy, isn't it? Look at this. This is old world living. So this is this just reminds me of something you'd, you'd come across in like Cappadocia, you know, or, or Libya, or somewhere like that, Iran. But again, I'm just, I'm just showing you guys. Um, it's hard to, to notice the sectional block work here because there's a lot of paint on the wall and render. But you can see that it's been cast directly on top of each other in sections. So nothing has been cut out of a stone here. But it's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. A little nice bit of render. Look, incredible. And obviously it does go further on, but that, that, it's been blocked up. You can see the block work. You can see where it's cast on top of each other. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So there you go, that was an incredible apartment. There is another apartment here. But like I said, and just like in England, these bushes are tactically placed 
and this is going to be left to overgrow. You can tell. No one's, no, no one's maintaining this garden here. So behind these bush on the walls, you will see. You well, you won't, but you know you know there's going to be entrances along here. And why do I say there is? Because this is symmetrical to the other side, and we was in the other side last week. So these are these star forts or star cities are geometric shapes. They are probably the most earliest structures that I am aware of in Malta. And why is that? Because they're the lowest and they've been built on going upwards. So they've managed to keep the foundations of these structures and just continue the, the cymatic patterns moving upwards. So they copied what was going on underneath. But it's phenomenal. So this one's just going to get left to overgrow, you notice. It's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But it's weird because you've got all sorts of markings on the wall. Clearly some sort of electrical box went here. Because you can, first of all, you can see that this limestone's been cast in sections. But then you can see there's like, a cable must have come into a box and then come out or vice versa. But you can see there's a chase mark going underneath and that has a little fall on it, so it might be water. That could even be a water meter in there, or something, or, or some valve to stop water like freely pouring out, so you can control the water. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but what I do know is you've got the marks there, so it's either for cables or pipes. But listen, guys, we're out here doing bits. We are out here doing bits, and we are exposing this golden layer of geopolymer and these macro structures that are being buried and hidden hidden out of history so don't forget to like subscribe comment and share because it means a lot sharing this stuff and support if you can one love guys ta-da's ta-da's